Direct News TV June 28, 2023 Ukraine Updates, Russia Says African States Can Decide on Wagner Pope's envoy to meet with Putin's advisor in Moscow The Kremlin has said Pope Francis's envoy would hold talks with President Vladimir Putin's foreign policy advisor Yuri Ushakov in Moscow. Cardinal Matteo Maria Zuppi began a visit to Russia on Tuesday in the first such trip since Putin sent troops to Ukraine in February 2022. High-ranking Catholic clerics are rarely seen in Moscow, which no pope has ever visited. Zuppi's trip comes several weeks after he met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev. Putin weakened by Wagner mutiny, Germany's Scholz. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that Putin was weakened by the Wagner mercenary group's mutiny but that the ultimate consequences of the rebellion remained unclear. The weekend uprising, which ended when Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin called off his troops' advance on Moscow, has prompted questions about Putin's grip on power as Moscow's war in Ukraine grinds on. In his first extensive comments about the aborted rebellion, Scholz said it would surely have long-term consequences in Russia. I do believe that he, Putin, is weakened, Scholz told public broadcaster ARD. It shows that the autocratic structures, the power structures, have cracks and he in no way sits as firmly in the saddle as he always claims, the German leader said. But I don't want to take part in speculation about how long he'll stay in office, it could be a long time or short, we don't know. In verbal slip, Biden says Putin losing war in Iraq. In a new verbal slip-up, Biden said that Putin was losing the war in Iraq when he meant to say Ukraine. Speaking to reporters briefly before departing the White House on a trip to Chicago, Biden was asked if Putin had been weakened by the brief uprising of the Wagner Group whose forces have been fighting against Ukraine. It's hard to tell really. But he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. He's losing the war at home and he has become a bit of a pariah around the world. And it's not just NATO, it's not just the European Union. It's Japan, it's 40 nations, he said. Russian military bloggers question Putin's mutiny response. Influential Russian military bloggers have questioned Moscow's response to the Wagner mutiny, with some praising Putin's sanfua and others saying they expected a tougher response. War correspondent Alexander Sladkov, who has more than a million followers on the messaging app Telegram, said he had expected a furious response from Putin. Everyone thought the world will spin five times faster, he wrote. Nuclear weapons. General mobilization. Declaration of war with NATO. Sladkov said it took him a day to look back and conclude, thankfully, he is cool-headed. Hugely provoked, but in control. But some saw the extraordinary march and the Kremlin's promise not to punish the rebels as a sign of weakness. Where is the leadership of the defense ministry when an armed unit is approaching Moscow, wrote military correspondent Yuri Kotnok. He, however, did not attack Putin personally. What future awaits Russia's Wagner army and its boss, Prigozhin? Observers say Yevgeny Prigozhin is doomed after turning on Putin, known for vindictiveness towards turncoat allies. Wagner revolt shows Putin's failure in Ukraine, Blinken says. The Wagner group's brief mutiny in Russia is a sign of Putin's failure in Ukraine, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said. Blinken said Russian troops were on the outskirts of Kiev last year and thought they could capture the Ukrainian city in days, but nearly a year and a half into the war, Wagner's mercenaries were marching on Russia's own capital, Moscow. That, in a way, encapsulates the extent to which this aggression against Ukraine has been a failure across the board for Putin, Blinken said. And we see it by virtually every metric. Russia is worse off economically it's worse off militarily, its standing in the world has plummeted. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.